Hi guys, Brian the Scary Lion back with another video and joined once again by Pterodactyl Tom. <gasps> First of all, let us start by saying we're sorry there was no here's what happened. Unfortunately, we had problems with the PC. Like, I couldn't get my editing done for some reason, it just wouldn't load up. And apologies, all we can really do. But we will actually run through right now what our favourite matches were from both shows and what our favourite spots were from both shows. So let's let's start with Takeover. What was your favourite match from Takeover? Favourite match from Takeover. Uh, it's a bit obvious. Johnny Gargano against Ricochet. Uh, uh, Mine's is the same. It was fucking incredible. I'd say that's better than uh, last year's uh, NXT Championship match. You know, Johnny Gargano against Andrade. Andrade. Aye, uh, Ricochet. Fucking hell, the athleticism on him. Just. Everything really in that match was fucking phenomenal. They read each other so well, everything just felt like it was the perfect match. Moving on to your spot of the night, what was your spot of the night from NXT TakeOver? My spot of the night is from the same match, and it's when Ricochet just, you know, suicide dive over the, uh, over the tumbuckle. Over the tumbuckle. Uh, out of nowhere. That was that, fucking incredible. That, that was incredible. One of the best moves I've ever seen on, on any NXT. See, Ricochet is one of those guys you cannot underestimate him. No. He's fucking incredible. Everything he does just makes your jaw drop. So is Johnny Gargano, though. Uh, so is Johnny Gargano. He's already had them in his five-star matches. Uh, if this one is put as a five-star match, I've not checked up yet, but if this is put as a five-star match, this is his third. Exactly. So my spot of the night actually comes from later on in the night, and this was in the match, uh, Alistair Black versus Tommaso Ciampa, and it was the spot where Tommaso Ciampa had ripped up the um, mat, mat uh, yeah. to unveil the concrete, and Alistair Black launched himself at Tommaso Ciampa and put him straight in the concrete. It was fucking brilliant. It was. Uh, that was two spots, uh, two spots during the night. Overall, I can't really say anything bad about Takeover. It was a great, it was a great show. Fair enough. Start to uh, I am going to finish what I was saying. Sorry. Cut me off halfway for a sentence. Oh well. That was two spots during the night where we saw the concrete getting unveiled, both from former members of DIY. Plus, we got the little thing at the end. The little bit at the end, and then the bit that we didn't see. With everybody kicking off, that was yeah, fucking yeah. incredible. Uh, but let's move on to the Royal Rumble now. Uh, what was your match of the night from the Royal Rumble? It's hard because it wasn't a very overwhelming pay per view. It, it really wasn't. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't very disappointing. It was just pretty much a bog standard. Pretty much, and you don't really expect that with the second biggest pay per view of the year. Exactly. But um, I'd have to say it was Brock Lesnar against Finn Balor. Yeah, that was a really good match. Finn Balor putting everything on the line and it looked incredible. I, I didn't really go for that long, but all said and done, it was a great match. Yeah, it really was. And uh, Brock Lesnar finishing up with a Kamora lock, something we've not seen for him mm. in years. Which, you know, was just fantastic. Uh, for me, match of the night, I'd probably have to give it to the Cruiserweights. Um, like unfortunately, it wasn't the best cruiserweight match we've seen. Like uh, I, going back to the best cruiserweight match, it would probably be Buddy Murphy versus Cedric Alexander at uh, uh, Super Showdown. Hey, but can I say something? Um, Kalisto actually overperformed. Like mm. maybe was expecting him to do anything during that match, and he did. He, 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 did, he did actually like, look good. Like, it was a really good match, probably not the best for the Cruiserweights, but for me that was my match of the night. Let's go on to your spot of the night from the Royal Rumble. My spot of the night has got to be when Dolph Ziggler super kick to Nia Jax mm. into the ropes, 619 into the RKO, and then they eliminate Nia Jax. Fuck you, Nia, for thinking you can be <laughs> in two Rumbles. Yup. Uh, the, the worst part of that was the fact that she eliminated Mustafa Ali. Uh, Mustafa Ali. Props to you, you looked fucking great during the Rumble. It looked incredible. It looked fucking amazing during the Rumble and it was eliminated by Nia Jax. With a shitty like pick up and then dump over the what is that? If you're gonna put a woman into the Rumble, put somebody who's like really talented. Not Nia, who I think needs to go back to the performance centre. 
Like Maybe she's, just she's all right. No, she's all right, but she needs to go back to the performance center because there's a lot wrong. For me, spot of the night has to go to Casey Catanzaro. Jesus Christ, she looked brilliant. Just uh, gets dunked over the top rope, handstand all the way over to the fucking turnbuckle, and then fucking lifts herself up. Her core must be incredible. Well, you know, former winner of Ninja Warrior. Yeah, uh, former winner of Ninja Warrior. You already know she's got the fucking athleticism and everything. Well, she Amer looked great. American. She looked great, and I can't wait to see like a lot of her on NXT. Yeah, I. Gonna be. Is she gonna be an exciting one to watch? She really is. Um, but with that being said, um, we are gonna move ne on now to the forfeits. And I've got a pretty interesting fact here. Both of us came up with the forfeits, but like the idea for the lemon was from me. The idea for the Lego was from mm -hmm. Thomas. And it turns out I'm the one doing the lemon and he's the one doing the Lego. So yeah. it's a pretty cool turn of events there. So with that being said, uh, let's get into this. Actually, before we do, I just want to point out the quality might look different in these. We're going to have the camera up here recording Tom doing the jumps and we've got my phone set up down here which we're going to use to record his feet actually landing on the Lego. So you ready? Yep. Let's do it. Right so when you're ready Tom. I want the little jumps on the big ones. That's fine as long as you do the jumps. Ten jumps. Oh yeah. Right. One. Oh, that. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's that. one. Two. That fucking. That is so painful. <laughs> Three. <sighs> Four. Ah, one of the pieces of fucking jam right out of the bottom of <laughs> Ah, this is fucking well sore. Five, you're halfway there. Ah, you fucking, can hear it crunching. Fucking halfway, fuck you, halfway. You can hear it crunching. You can see my toes fucking curling up in pain. <laughs> Six. Seven. Come on, bear through it, be a man. Oh no. <laughs> Eight. Nine. He's a good jump for the last one, go on. Just for the last one. Right then, give one second then. Oh, he's spreading it so that it, each one lands, each foot lands on one piece. Yep. Right, that's it. that should be enough. Right, here we go, final jump. This must hurt like fuck. My feet are in agony, brain. He said he was only going to uh, squirt a little drop of lemon in my eye. After me making him do this, I'm pretty sure it's not just going to be a little tiny drop of lemon gone in my eye. The Lego piece is broke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. The Lego piece is actually broke. What the fuck? Uh, well, let's move on to the lemon. So, guys, we are on to lemon time. Uh, I've got my bottle of water here. Make sure it's open ready. We've got the lemon. Oh, you can't see it because the white. Oh. But aye, we've got the lemon there. Um, what we're going to try today is he's going to squeeze it into my eye and he's going to count to ten. I'm not allowed to wash it out until he gets to a count of ten. What about ten Mississippi? No, count of ten. Jesus Christ, this is going to hurt like fuck. I may actually go... I might get blurry vision for a while. I don't think I'll get blind. I'm... I should I should have read up on how this works, but no. Oh, I can. Brian, you're Scottish. You can do it. <laughs> I can do this. Right. Right, you're gonna have to hold your own eye open. I know I'm going to need to hold my own eye open. I'm trying to brace myself for this. I won't do that much. I'll just stay a little squeezy squeeze. Right. I can do this. Right, you ready? Go on. Three, two, 
the one. You're well closing your eye there. You're like, um, it's still open though. I could still see right. the lemon there. Jesus. Hey, three, two, one. Coming out. Nothing was coming out. And then there, there something came out. Right. There again. Quickly. Hey, three, two, one. see it in the camera hey right, uh, I'm gonna show you now this this is what my eye looks like uh, I don't know I can't see if it's bad that looks fucked oh lovely oh it's it, it still burns it burns like hell but and that is our punishment <laughs> it's not as bad as it was oh, oh um, <laughs> thanks for watching uh, us the stupid shit yeah um, no real punishments anymore, it's just stupid shit. <laughs> the punishments are going to get worse, I'm going to let you know now, because uh, Cultaholic like to try to claim that they've got the most extreme punishments. Yes, yes, yes. But we are going to prove that we can be even more extreme than Cultaholic. But I, uh, we hope you did like that video. Anything you'd like to say? Tell that to Tom. Um, ah, fuck me. You, you finish it. If you like the video, but fuck that like button. Please. Please.